This is your Flash Briefing, brought to you by your local York dealers. There was an awful accident this morning in Manhattan, Kansas. A Riley County snowplow hit and killed two pedestrians. Happened at 5 in the morning on Tuttle Creek Boulevard. So far, there are no further details about those two killed. The Kansas Highway Patrol is still investigating. Kansas City Police are investigating the city's latest homicide. A man was found dead outside of an apartment complex at 77th and Monroe. Officers believe he was shot inside. Police are still working now to identify him. A Kansas City man is admitted to killing three people in 2017. DeAndre Brown pleaded guilty Thursday to three counts of second-degree murder. Police say he shot the two men and a woman during a drug deal in East Kansas City. And Royals fans getting a chance to celebrate the Royals and the Chiefs this weekend. They're being encouraged to wear their Chiefs gear to Royal Fest, which is just getting underway at Bartle Hall. One of the big highlights today, fans will get a chance to see Salvador Perez become an American citizen. Salvi was born, of course, in Venezuela, but he'll take the oath to become a U.S. citizen at about 4 o'clock this afternoon. And good afternoon, everyone. I'm Storm Track 5 meteorologist Alina Lee with an update to your forecast. But first, snow totals over the last 24 hours taken from the National Weather Service, Facebook, and Twitter accounts. 5.5 inches in Higginsville, Trenton just the same. Lee Summit got up to 3.7 inches. Olathe, Kansas, 3.7 as well. Blue Springs, Belton, and Kirksville all at or below 3 inches for those folks. And the snow continues in some spots, leading to reduced visibility. So you might see a little bit of that dense fog on your commute throughout the next few hours. But once the wind picks up, I think it'll clear any of that fog. As you'll see on satellite and radar over the last few hours, the snow continues to drop from north, pushing southward, and these snow showers are also tapering off. So we are expecting a mainly dry day ahead, as you'll see here on our day planner. Weather alerts up from 1 p.m. all the way through 5 o'clock, where temperatures will steadily drop into the 30s. We're thinking near freezing by 4 and 5 as the snow continues to settle down, and I think we'll be dry as we head through the second half of your Friday, where temperatures back down below freezing from 8, 9, and 10 o'clock. Temperatures likely going to be in the upper 20s, so it certainly is going to be a very brisk evening, and with the accumulating snow still on the ground overnight, temperatures are expected to dip down into the mid to upper 30s. So for your Security Bank 7-day forecast, I believe tomorrow and Sunday, both above freezing, but it will certainly feel most like a heat wave because we haven't seen upper 30s in quite a while. So Sunday afternoon might be a little bit warmer than your Saturday. And over the upcoming work week, it looks like we'll see temperatures trending upward as well through Monday, 40 the high. Chance for a rain snow mixture for your Tuesday right now still uh, in disagreement with looking at the model data. So kept it at about a 30% chance for now. We will continue to update that forecast when we get closer to that time. But until now, enjoy the accumulating snow as it continues to dry out and hopefully you have a wonderful afternoon and an even better weekend. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest updates. This is your personalized flash briefing because KCTV 5 News stands for you. Brought to you by your local York dealers. Heating and cooling products built in the Midwest.